Hi friends, welcome back to the our channel. In this video, I will just show you this four sensor data and sending only this one blink app. I mean the gas, fire, soil moisture and rain sensor data will send only this one blink app. But the microcontroller will be different I used. Okay, let's go and start to test this project. Electronics. All about electronics. First, we design this hardware. I use this ESP32 microcontroller board and I attach this firmware header to this ESP32 board and I attach to this Zero PCB. In back side, I soldering one by one. Now, this soldering will be completed. Then I attach to this gas sensor one buzzer and one LED and then I attach to this ESP32 microcontroller port to this female header like that I attach to this another flame sensor I mean this another PCB one flame sensor one buzzer and one LED and this one is the second ESP32 board let's see the circuit diagram see the gas sensor will be connected to this pin number 32 and this one is the working on this analog and I attach to this one buzzer is the pin number 14 and one green LED is the pin number 27 the VCC will be connected to this VCC ground will be connected to this ground now come to this flame sensor the flame sensor is the working on this digital pin and is required only 3 pin D0, ground and VCC D0 will be connected to this pin number 14 ground will be connected to this ground VCC will be connected to this VN pin buzzer will be connected to this pin number D13 pin LED will be connected to this pin number 12 and both ground will be connected to this ground now come to this RAN sensor this one is the also working on this analog pin and digital pin required only the 3 wire D0 ground and VCC D0 will be connected to pin number D19 ground will be connected to this ground VCC will be connected to this V in and one buzzer will be connected to this pin number 30 Second terminal of this buzzer will connect to this ground. Let's come to this moisture sensor. This one is the soil moisture sensor, is required the only three pins E0, VCC, and ground. E0 will connect this pin number 32, VCC will connect this pin, pin, ground will connect to this ground. Now the design will be completed. Setup of this Blink app. See, first we go to this Blink console and open this Blink Cloud app then sign up this Blink app gauge and it is this gauge name is the gas level is the minimum value or maximum value I put 0 to 100 you also choose this color now we add this one LED and LED name is fire alert and just choose only the one virtual pin and save it is the second case I edit this case name is soil moisture our soil level create this database choose this virtual pin and save it now we add this another LED and edit this name is the rain alert create this data database choose this virtual pin and save it now first we do this code one is the gas sensor see the gas sensor will be connected to pin number 32 buzzer will be connected to pin number 14 ld will be connected to pin number 27 here you put this your authentic key ssid and password in void setup you defining this input and output devices in void gas level you just check this threshold value and when it's passed to this threshold value the buzzer will be high and led will be on now go to this tool select this proper board and hit this uploading button After the few seconds, the code will be uploaded. Now do this second code is the flame sensor. 
See the flame sensor will be connected to spin number 14, LED will be connected to spin number 13, buzzer will be connected to spin number 12. Also you use the same authentic key in the second code and username and password. You also change this your Wi-Fi username and password. In wired setup, you define this input on R4 devices. In wired sensor, we define this flame sensor and when the flame sensor digital pin will be high, the buzzer will be high and LED will be low. Just go to this tool, select this proper board and hit this uploading button. Same, I use this code 3 swile sensor. First we defining this all this library, then I attach this sensor is the 32 pin number. Red LED and buzzer will be connected to pin number 25 and 14. Use, use the same authentic key and username and password. In wired setup we are defining this input and output devices. Come to this wired sensor function and if this swile moisture will be detected this 100% then buzzer will be high and LED will be blue. Also you go to this wired loop and call to this function. Just go to this tool, select this proper board and hit this uploading button. Now come to this fourth board, range sensor. If you first define this library and then you attach this buzzer is the pin number 13. Ten sensor will be connected to pin number 19. You use the same authentic key and SSID and password. In file setup, you define in these input and output devices. I mean this wired sensor, you just this one is the different function and okay. When the range sensor will be high, the buzzer will be high and LED will be low. When the range sensor will be low, the buzzer will be low and LED will be high. Just go to this tool, select this proper board and hit this uploading button. Now let's see this working of this project. First one is the gas sensor. See, I use the same app and I turn on this gas sensor and LED will be glow. When I put this lighter near of this gas sensor, the value will be increases and is crossed to this 100% then buzzer will be beeping like that i use this flame sensor and you just check out i put this some fire near of this flame sensor the led will be i mean this blink led will be red and buzzer is the beeping soil moisture sensor now i attach this usb cable to this esp32 board and you just check this label is the in same blink app is the value will be increases and this is label to 0 to 75 30 80 is cross like that this is the same rain sensor i attach this usb cable and i put this rain sensor in this water the rain alert led will be high in this blink cap and when i release this rain sensor then led will be off see i attach this one usb cable to gas sensor and is iod app is showed at this online now i put this some gas near of this gas sensor the value will be increases and when it cross to this threshold value the buzzer is the beeping then i attach this flame sensor then i show this fire near of this flame sensor see the blink app led will be and this fire alert will be red and buzzer is the beeping i dip the rain sensor in water the red led will be high and when I release, the LED will be off. In different four node, is the communication only this one blink cap? This one is pretty good. I hope you like this video. And if you like it, please hit the like button and share it with all the friends. If you are new in my YouTube channel, please subscribe and hit this bell icon to get notifications first. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.